they're actually talking today and they're looking into your eyes, you're kind of like, wow, this is really intense. You know, like, I can't believe these people actually were there as 14, 15 year old people and now they've come full circle, they've got grandchildren, they've got businesses. It's one thing to see on TV and films or whatever, yeah, but yeah. you see it in your face for real, them talking about it. I kept eye contact, but I find that difficult because he was talking about, um, about his friend getting on the train and his instincts told him to go and hide for some reason. He's like, he still doesn't even know why. But he's, he questioned why his friend was so strong and he's going on the train. He went and hid, his friend got on the train and later on he found out they were all killed. And he survived because of little decisions like that. And I'm just looking at him like, so if you did get on that train that day, like hundreds of other people did get on that train, you wouldn't be sitting here, we wouldn't be interviewing you today. Yeah, it's, it's weird, like, I mean, today's society, like, yeah. people kind of like, oh, I live in the ghetto, I live poor. My life's like, hard. My life's hard. But then you're thinking, whoa, I, don't, I wouldn't want to be an issue. Their I'll life's live, not hard. I'd rather live here. Yeah, their life's not hard. It's not, man. It's not. And Living on, it, on these estates is actually like, it's like a blessing, you know, to them people. It, it's, it's paradise to, compared to where they were. I mean, there's so much a history book can teach you, but they're from an actual person. And that's what is sad about this project in a way that in 20 years, 30 years time, people like us are not going to be able to make a film like this. Yeah. It's not even going to be possible. Yeah. Well, like you expect them to like hate Germany, hate Germans, but they've gone past that, like, they don't really hate. And like nowadays, I remember when me and Daniel the other day was talking about the word hate, a lot of people use that so freely, like, I hate you for some seemingly little reason. Whereas, they've gone through so much, I would expect them to hate, like, the German people. But like they said, why I hate? You know, that will kill, that will kill themselves even more. Even if one person tries to, you know, make a difference, and it does make a difference because they will, they will influence the people around them. Like the uh, woman said, like, building bridges. But when one person does it and another person does it, we're all, it, we're all connected. We may be different colours, but we're all connected. We're all human, so, yeah. I think that's really important, just that focus on hope for the future, for us young people to, you know, be tolerant of other people. I think all of us learn a lot of lessons through this. Like, the experience was good for us as people, like some things I kind of noted down when we was watching it is be tolerant of each other and celebrate each other's differences um, and kind of appreciate what we've got. Like what we've got in this country is with our freedom, democracy, kind of levels of civil rights and food, shelter, all these things that you, you, you take for granted.